this should be an anime that does relatively well on my channel. It's like a story about some dude that sucks at healing, so he got kicked out, but he's actually like super OP in a different way, right? I feel like themes like this is just like cheap junk food that we all love enjoying together. I'm not saying that this is cheap junk food, but it could be in that kind of category. Let's begin today's reaction. Goblins. Oh my god. Save this girl from the goblins. Yo, no, no, no. Is this our hero? Oh, main character. Why is that such a shock to everybody? Maybe everyone is shocked that someone would party up with this guy because he's like useless according to everyone else. Okay. Wow, martial artist. Amazing. Main character is Laust. Amherst, the guild receptionist, is going out of her way to make sure that she doesn't party with this guy. This guy must suck then. No. Who is he? Tell me. Ignoramus. Okay. Labyrinth Orphan. Just basic heal. Blades of Lightning. And then he got kicked out. There's the title, right? Banished from the Heroes Party or some shit. Yo, this is actually so fucked up that this guild receptionist is going out of her way to just make sure everyone knows how useless she he is and to have everyone, like, turn away from him. Like, god damn, lady, if you weren't so hot, I'd be so angry at you right now. <sighs> Bruh. Oh. Like, imagine, like, again, like, think of who she is. She's a literal fucking employee going out of her way to make sure that he gets shit on. That's insane. Is she rich? Mm. They're going to steal the money. Okay, okay. The martial artist girl is very innocent and pure to the ways of this world, huh? I guess. She's a delight, but uh, I wonder if she's gonna listen to their advice and, you know, prevents parting with that guy. She's a newbie. She out here hustling. Long time ago? Long time ago? When did you meet? Maybe she was the girl that was saved in the past. But that girl had different hair color. Long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Why does she love him so much? What's the flashback? Give me it. Backstory. What? Money? Money? I love how she's so upfront with it. My commission. Give me that money. Very honest about that. Oni-san again. Who are you again? Are you my little sister? Okay, it seems like we've reunited, but the main character has no idea. Marga Labyrinth. Okay, there's a labyrinth of adventure to go. Marta,と迷宮都市に成長したんだ。でもいいんですか？いきなり迷宮に向かっちゃって。she said you're trash. Western Prairie to farm some slimes and goblins? Okay. Labyrinth leads magic. 
中でも西の弱い魔獣しかいない初心者向けの場所ではあるんだけどなかなか魔獣に出会えないんだよその点魔獣が出るそれに奥まで行かなければ強い魔獣まあいざとなった And something will happen. 100% we go to the weakest region to farm, something bad's gonna happen, then Laos will show up and clutch, and that'll be like the moment where he's like, oh, he's actually OP. Like, that's 100% gonna happen. <laughs> this conveniently says something, sets a flag, and says no. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, you're the frontliner. But there's something different about him. He's not a standard healer. So far, no CGI. That's decent, I guess. The animation isn't even that bad either. Okay. Already better in Tower of God, already better in fa Failure Frame. Like, this is again, just like, again, my standard for animation is so low right now because I've been so fucking traumatized by summer 2024 but so far this is looking pretty good well they're the weakest monsters here though you know it's like level one monsters hunt monsters monster stone mad sell it money build shit He's a newbie for us to learn so that he can explain the exposition and we can understand Okay, stronger monster, more money. どうかな。もう少し奥まで。はい。いざとなったりしてください。何でしょう、バックストーリーマン。そりゃ心強いよ。なるせえな。本当ですか。ブイトラップ。The most obvious. My man's a pro. Maybe he can do it all. Long adventure. So he's like master of none, jack of all trades. Orc with a K. Why are there orcs up at this floor? I thought stuff is supposed to be easy. Alright, martial arts girl, let's see it. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? The fight soundtrack is nice. No, Narsena! Main character clutch. He threw something, maybe? I heard like a stab sound. And we don't even see how he defeated the orc. I heard a stab sound, though. He just stabbed it with the sword. Bro, I thought you were a healer. You're pretty good fighting, huh? Wow, he's so cool. He one shot an orc with a K. Kill her arm, bro. Yeah. <laughs> His answer for everything is like, you know, I've been an adventure for a long time. I know how to do what a thief can do. I know what I can do what a warrior can do. Like, he just basically can do everything. Hero. Let me see that basic heal, boy. Okay. There's the heal, the basic heal, man. And... Wow, he can heal! Whoa! Wow! Stronger monster, stronger rock, more money! No, we need to go deeper. We need to go deeper. Mm -mm. I want more shit to go off. Surely nothing bad will happen. Definitely something bad's gonna happen. Or not. We're back? Okay, we're back. あなたナルセーナちゃんを迷宮に連れて行ったでしょう。多くの魔石じゃない。いきなり中。いや、違うんだ。おし、そいつはディオークズ。
of stronger monsters appearing in upper floors? Hmm. What's happening with the labyrinth, guys? Strong monsters are appearing. I like her. She a bitch, but she's so brutally honest. Why would a rank and file employee like me know about anything? I'm just here to take my fucking commission and leave, baby. See? Look how honest she is with money. When it's her getting her money, she's so happy and excited. Yeah. Their wages, man. More money. The more money she makes. Let's go. It's a lot of money. Gen X. Damn. What? <laughs> Wonder what the percentage share was. Why was he even recruited into the Blades of Lightning if they maybe they didn't know about his reputation by then, right? Maybe the whole ignorama shit started to happen after Blades of Lightning. Who knows? I wonder if they were really cruel to him. Like, there's some sort of like vengeance plot, but he was never given his fair share. If there's like a party of five, you would assume that everything, everything gets distributed in 20%, but maybe him, he doesn't get 20, he gets like five, and then the rest of the 15 is, you know, allocated towards the other people. <laughs> Yeah, you. Moving forward, wow. But what is Narsena to him? And what is he to her? And Amherst is just happy about the money. Who is this dude? Uh, oh, he seems important. He also looks like a main character of a show like this. Wonder if he's Lightning Blade or a guild member? Yeah, maybe GM, who knows? Money, money, money. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Just to have someone just so brutally honest about their greed with money. They're like, oh, yes, counting money, money, money. Oh, yes. Hey. Handsome. This guy's name is Mr. Handsome? Handsome? Literally, just the dude that's handsome, Mr. Handsome. I mean, he is handsome. Yeah, they, gave, they got us good money. Why not? Yeah, there's a newbie girl. He knows her? Hmm, how does he know her? Why are they so against Laust, bro? Like, leave him alone. He seems like he knows about Narsena, though. Lolly. Jealous Lolly. Bro, Laos really lives rent free in everyone's head. Like, bro, you would think that like people would not give a fuck about him because he's so quote unquote useless, but like everyone just cares about him so much. They're always just like thinking about what is he doing? Who is he partying with? Oh my god, like what the fuck? Yeah, like what did he do? What did bro fucking do? It sounds like he committed a fucking war crime or something. Like, like the, the vi like this entire city fucking hates him. Oh mother, what the mom look like? Mm. This is more of a motherly. This is not really a milf. Just like a you know nice mom. Shared. Same bed with Onisa. Wow. <laughs> Right. Is it free? The mother is very nice. Narsen is so down bad for him, bro. I, I... Go to his room. Knock his door. Hiro. So it is her. But she had blonde hair back then. That's why I was confused. I'm like, could this be the girl that was in the intro scene? Well, seemingly, it is. And the hair changed? Bro really was pre-ordering. I don't want to know the age gap. I don't want to know the age gap. Nope. I'm not going there. 
ありがとうございます僕にできるのはこれだけだ<笑> Y'all calling him groomer But is he just like healing her bro Come on <laughs> Yo, No, a true groomer is that fucking show The villainous show Where they're literally giving gifts to that 8 year old child In like hopes of like winning her you know attention over right that's 100 percent grooming this is just random girl you know fucking getting uh almost killed by goblins and he just helping her out <laughs> yeah he inspired her there is the party promise i'll protect you onisan she folded really easy huh one heel what about the hair color you dye it Oh, she heard about it and intentionally joined. <sighs> but what? Yeah, could you fucking change your hair? I thought the ending was playing for a second, by the way. I thought the anime literally ended with this frame. And then the ending starts to play. Like, if you look at this visual, it looks like any sort of ending, you know, PowerPoint presentation, right? But like, yeah, he doesn't recognize you. Could you change your fucking hair? It's also been a long time. Hello? Hair. Yeah, why did it change? You're aware. Yeah, he's saving you still. God, crazy. He's fucking schizo, bro. She's talking to herself in the mirror. Oh, jeez! <laughs> One more time? <laughs> and that's probably the best animated scene of this show today. The amount of polish they put on that one single frame. That's probably where all the budget went. He's apparently useless. Worst healer ever. Because he's supposed to be a healer, and he only gets judged on healing. But he's really good at everything else, and the people cannot recognize that. And the power fantasy will come from people shitting on him, but he's actually good at everything. Then he'll get his recognition despite him being able to use basic healing, is the premise of this show, I think. The end. And that is today's episode. I feel that this is mid <laughs> right like let's let's not get up ahead of ourselves i don't think it's terrible right i don't think it's terrible but i don't think it's like the peak of the animes that we've seen it is a very standard you know uh dungeon kind of show guild adventuring and a theme that we're very familiar with right a main character being looked down upon because he's judged in one specific parameter but what people fail to notice is that he's really good at everything else and that's kind of where the power of fantasy will happen. I think that we can have a lot of fun with this anime. It's nothing really special, but it still was an enjoyable watch. Narsena is very cute. Laos is just calm, composed, and just doing shit. There's some, you know, other people behind the scenes that really is against Laos. And I want to know what's happening with the Blade of Lightning. And to get a little bit of, you know, quote-unquote revenge against the people that's looked down on Laos. And to see the mystery behind, you know, what the fuck happened with the blue hair? I'm willing to check out one more episode if you guys are. And that's it for me. If you're still here... If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.